briefly consider the overview. I will play it again at the end. Okay, so basically you have a bunch of colleges started by eugenicists such as David Starr Jordan. And they have secret societies such as Yale. And they, they are tasked for a, for a long time with the job of maintaining the white power structure that the Freemasons build and maintain. Okay, this is all fact. You know, presidents having Masons, I don't think anyone can argue with any of this. Okay, now... And we all know that the corrupt, right? We all know these presidents, right? Truman um, and uh, Roosevelt, you know, and Francis Galton coined the term eugenics, Freemason, scientific lodge. Celebrated free, Freemason because of his scientific achievement. Not because he's some prophet or something. Same with Pike, celebrated because of his philosophy. So Galton is celebrate, the most celebrated Freemason for his scientific achievements. I know you're going to have trouble grasping that, but think about it. How many of these famous scientists are actually proven to be famed Freemasons versus Galton, who is proven to be? So therefore, it is in their best interest to pretend that he was right, at least. Do you see what I'm saying? In order to elevate themselves, because they put appearance over application. Their job isn't to maintain the infrastructure and take care of the little guy. Their job is to maintain the appearance of the structure. So their argument is satanic and despicable. Application must come first. I don't care if somebody looks like a little kid who's having seizures when they're doing martial arts. If their application is superior, God has naturally chose them. I don't care if they bite you like a snake, they scratch you like a tiger, you know, or bite you like a leopard. You understand me? Now sit down and shut the fuck up. Okay? So you have Berzelius Society tasked with drugging people and working with Big Pharma as the think tanks who apply the philosophy and the pseudoscience of masonry and people of like minds, like uh, Weishaupt and them, okay? Um, you know, Voltaire and all these scum, uh, Benjamin Franklin and people that you, you are taught to revere. Paul Revere, right? You're, they're, they're even names, right? They use Babylonian speech to confuse you and to get you to revere the types of scum. So it's in the language, right? Just like Afro-Asiatic is a dialect, right? How many of you think Native Americans spoke English before the white man came? So, you know, when white people are speaking Hebrew, it means that Afro-Asiatic people taught them that religion and that language. Thank you. The culture includes the language. Unless, unless you think people think those, all those other African languages that are part of the Afro-Asiatic dialect, you know, didn't influence anything. Yeah, all you black guys who everyone thinks is cool didn't influence anybody with your culture. And you still don't. That's their argument. How stupid is that? And there's some Bill Gates motherfuckers found in civilization and, and poked you with a bunch of toothpicks until you fell over dead. Like, oh, I've fallen in, I can't get up. How stupid, how stupid is that? Shut up. Or, or, or my favorite, my favorite, some hacky sack bitches came in little canoes with fucking toothpicks and logs and somehow outmaneuvered African killers with Montu arts. Sit down. Shut the fuck up. All right. Skull and Bones is tasked with architecture, you know, with killing people, with helping them kill people by maintaining the, the things you dig up, falsifying evidence, twisting and media spin when it comes to anthropology. Digging, even fucking paleontology if it has to. Anything to do with digging something up, you know, and, and do intelligence and knowledge, right? Skull and bones. That's why John Kerry was the Secretary of State. And are you paying attention? Are you paying attention? So it is their philosophy to believe to use trickery and deceit to snake the people like King Solomon God chose. These are the people who are jealous of King Solomon trying to usurp him because they think that people like me play around and they think that God plays around. How many of you think that Muslims and, and North Africans and Sub-Saharan Africans and African Great Lakes and South Africans and these, you know, Africans in general play around? How many of you think that? Well, apparently that's what they think. Strolling key. They control your spirituality. They say, we're going to destroy religion by twisting it with the scriptures. Like, you know, uh, uh, who, what is this, this scripture they use? Um, the, the gospel of something with the Lilith story in it. I'll put it in the gospel of Enoch or something like that, right? You know, they, they bring up this other shit that the Bible, you know, look, God shows these people to put these books in the Bible, you sniveling, sniveling dog. Not pagan scientists like you, God. Men inspired by God. You sit down, you shut the fuck up. I don't care what the church has done since then. That is the foundation of Christianity. The rock that Jesus will build his church. 
So you sit down with your mystery schools and you shut the fuck up. I'm sick of you. Anyway, Jesus felt this way when he was in the temple. They are violating the temple of man with their scrawling bones, scrolling key. Wolf's head. These are the wolves. These are the muscles. These go out as wolves in sheep's clothes. You are the, these are the gang members. Okay? Be the bar owners, the strip club owners. Own the cannabis clubs. Make friends with the indigenous people and say, hey, I'm poor like you. That is the division in charge of the jackals from high to low. The wolves on Wall Street, the wolves in your fucking hood, the wolves in prison. Now, I don't give a fuck if you want to wolf pack the falcon. Because I am on God's side. And you will pay spiritually like you would not, you do not believe. You think you think I'm fucking just wolfing and that the Bible isn't true. This has been with our people, our humanity, for over a hundred thousand years. This story, you sniveling, pale, fucking maggot rat, is true. As a matter of fact, let's do a little illust illustration. You know, out of the way, maggot, out of the way, rat. You know? Don't don't pretend like you're on the path. You step way back. Oh, you want to accept Christ now? Okay, you can come back. You're my brother. You're my brother. But stay on the fucking path. That's where we are right now. That's where we are right now. Niggas think I'm playing with you niggas, though, man. That's the problem with you motherfuckers. Let me put it in a way you can understand. The blood of the Christ, the blood of the saints, or of a Christian martial artist, inspires... Let's put it another way. The, bro the blood of a Christian martial artist or saint inspires the angel's divine wrath, martial arts kind of wrath in the pyramid picture I paint. Thank you. Ancestors are giving me answers in rhythm with my martial arts mentality in a way that is just beautiful. If you've been paying attention, you know. You know these are our ancestors. I'm just the one they chose to speak. This is God's gift. I'm just a messenger. No servant is greater than his master. And yes, I challenge mental health to prove to me that my ancestors are not communicating through my mind with me. That these ideas come as a result of mental illness and not my ancestors. Prove it or give us Christians and African martial artists our respect forever. After how you've treated us on your assumptions and your pseudoscience, it's about time you do that, don't you think? I know you people have no honor because you're not religious. I know you have no sense of fair play because you don't know God. But please, for the sake of humanity, find it in your heart to do the right thing. You are what you spiritually consume. How many of you know the difference between a dialect and a dialect uh, and a language, or you know, a dialectical relationship between the state and a revolutionary, for example? How many of you know the difference? Look it up; it'll inspire thought. I promise you. Egypt is understood. Okay, it is understood by martial artists and the state, just like in the Bible, where the pagan societies knew a lot of spiritual stuff. They just didn't know it to the point where they could rise above God's chosen. That's why we beat them in battle. That's why we converted more people in the world. That's why God favored us. And they had to hide in our lodges and use trickery and deceit and despicable means to try to elevate themselves above us. So if you believe that there's a Luciferian elite that is Jude Judeo white, right? It's obviously at the money. Money is all the root of all evil. They're the bankers. They're big pharma. They're the media, they're the people pushing the narrative of the Johnny-come-lately, left-right, mainstream Judeo-white paradigm, right? Where you have the media, the corrupt gangs, the uh, cops, everyone with their culture, there's kind of, you know, right-left culture. You know, you have the politicians, the shrinks, you have the corporate shells, the CEOs, the executive groups, and the different level groups designed to maintain a culture, okay? So let's look at the overview of this. You cocky motherfuckers don't know nothing about no timing. Ask E-40. Now, he'll probably hold his tongue to be diplomatic, I don't know. But you motherfuckers still don't know. 
Okay? Just because I haven't taken over the world with God's you know, glory in heart, mind, and soul, inspired and fueled by God's infinite power, doesn't mean that that very situation couldn't happen and that someone who looks similar to me won't ride on a fucking cloud and put it down. Okay? You think because you, you can put down the yard that you're in charge? We are going to put all you serpents in your snake fucking abyss. Are we clear? And I'm going to make sure you stay there, nickel. You think you're going to get out, nickel? You think you're going to get past me when I'm in my glory in spirit? You think you are going to get past me after I die a martyr for God and I'm holding my spear in the spirit's womb? That's what you think? That's what you think? Really? Here is the nail in the coffin. And no, it will not come from a mason building his illusion with a super scientific futuristic nail driving device that most architects and builders and carpenters have never even heard of. It will come from Ebal and the bloodline of Judah. Judah is a black fist. Those who stayed true to God, they went to Ebal land. And now that you are doing eugenics on us, after the Civil War and everything has happened, it's about time I come forth. Oh, in case you're wondering, no one put me up to this. I'm not in a secret society. This is of my own will. So what kind of an example would it set to show a people that if one person among your race does the right thing, we're going to take it out on all of you. Yeah, you can take it that route, though. Anyway, here it is. Pagans and Christians used to fight in Rome. I'll give you 10 seconds to look it up. Okay. Okay, so the reason why I did that is I want you to pause and look it up. Now, what were they fighting about? Why don't just, you know, there's a lot of different pagan group ways of thinking, right? They're fighting about culture. Will pagan merge with the church in a certain way? There were several different fights going on. One was pagan should rule, Christian should rule. Yeah, but that's that's oversimplified. Let's break it down a little bit more. Some of them were saying we should mix all this stuff together. That's the traditional way. That is the Roman way. Okay, these Cleopatra people are getting in your head. They come back with this Afro-Asiatic thinking and they change the white pagan eugenicist, 10 tablets of Rome or whatever it's called, pagan way of thought. Okay, we are Herodotus type motherfuckers. Okay, we are not Afro-Asiatic. We are not Egyptians. We are not Jews. We are Romans. Yeah, one in ten Romans are, you know, Jews, and some of them are pagans, but you get my point. So the pagans and the Christians were fighting over whether people who thought like Masons would pervert society by mixing the truth with lies. Maybe me halfway. A half truth is still a lie. A half justice is still injustice. Do or do not, motherfucker. There is no try. You make it through the gates because you walked the path and you had faith and works or you're a bitch. You're a little sniveling serpent bitch. That I will slay in the spiritual room. I don't care if you even so much as stick your little forked tongue out of the gates of hell. I will fucking assault it. I will yank you out by that motherfucker. That one.